Hello friends, happy Thursday. I am here today to share something fun with you. Um, today we're going to take a look at one of the kits from our kits collection. Our kits have all been on sale this month and I wanted to share some of the things I love about them and share one of my favorite kits with you. Um, this video I recorded ahead of time because if all went according to plan, I am substitute teaching in preschool today. So um, I'm sure that is an adventure. I was a classroom teacher before my kids were born, and this is the first time I've been back in a regular classroom um, for a whole day in a long time. So pray for me that it's going well. Preschool is a beast that I have never conquered before. Um, I taught first and second grade when I was a teacher. So um, it'll be kind of fun to be at my kids' school all day with them, but preschool, I think, is going to tap all of my energy. So. Um, I am so excited to share our kits with you. And then I have a fun surprise at the end. So usually every week, um, I offer the card kit that we do for free with your order. And since we're not doing a card kit this week, um, I have something different in store for the end of the, the end of the month. Um, I also wanted to let you know that, um, while I'm pre-recording these, I think I am going to run out of time to pre-record next week's, and I believe my husband's still going to be at home and not back in his office yet. Um, so there may not be a video next week, and I apologize for that, but it is what it is, and that is life. So um, we'll do something else fun. I have an idea up my sleeve, so you'll just have to wait and see what that is. Um, but let me flip the camera, and let's get started with our kits. Okay, so what you're looking at is a pretty Stampin' Up! box, and all of our kits come in a box like this. So if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, there we go, or you have bought one of our kits before, oh my goodness, sorry, um, you know the, kind of the size of box that they come in. These are the same size as our Paper Pumpkin boxes for the most part, unless the kit is something different. Okay, sorry that took so long. Um, so they come in a box like this. These are really nice to reuse for other things. Um, you can put a label right over this part and send it and it is awesome. So I have not even unpacked this one yet because I wanted you to see exactly how they come. Now we have a couple different types of kits. Some of them include a stamp set and a block to put your stamps on and ink and all of that. Um, this is one of our non-stamping kits. So even if you think you're not that crafty or you have friends that are just getting into crafting and you want to teach them the love of card making, um, give them one of our non-stamping kits because they're really easy to put together and they're still beautiful. I love this one. Um, I bought it a while back because I thought it was so pretty and I haven't put it together yet. So I thought today was the perfect time um, this is the Painted Wishes kit, and the other thing I love about our non-stamping kits is that they are a really cheap price point. I think they're normally $14, um, and of course they're on sale this month for one more week. So if you like this one, you can get it on sale. Um, when I pre-recorded this video, it was still available. I know they are while supplies last this month, while the sale is going on. So just keep that in mind, and we have lots to choose from. Um, we've also started offering other types of kits besides just cards. There is some home decor pieces. Um, there's a fun one for kids that's like a little game. We have a birthday card organizer notebook. Um, we have a magnet board. Um, lots of different things. So there's something for everybody. And I know that some people don't appreciate the kits because it's too easy um, it takes the creativity out of it, but I actually really like kits, especially when you need a card real quick um, and you don't have one in your stash that kind of fits what you are going for. I will go to my kits because I know the cards go together really quickly and they're really pretty and I don't have to think about the design. So especially this one. So everything that you need comes in the kit and there are nice printed color directions um, and they're numbered. So this part right here is going to tell you what pieces you need for each card. And there's three different cards in this particular kit. And then there's stepped out directions that show you more details. 
And then on the back, you see the contents of what is in the kit. Um, and then sometimes they'll put, oh, here it is, the coordinating colors. Um, and then there's a QR code that you can scan. This is for beginners, so it kind of shows you some more um, beginning tips for crafting. And then this one gives you detailed instructions for this particular kit. So if you learn more by watching, um, that is perfect for you. So I thought we'd put these cards together today um, just to show you how cute, quick, and simple they are. And then I have that fun little special to share with you. So for our first card, we're going to need one of these card bases. We are going to need, let's see here. I think there's enough supplies to make three of each card. Um, and look, there's even pretty envelopes to go along with it. So that little coordinating design on there is gorgeous. Um, we're going to need one of these. I believe that's Lemon Lime Twist. We will need one of these. Um, let's see, this is for a different card. We'll need a thank you for your kindness. Oh, I've got two there. Um, and then some of the twine and some of the sequins. Okay. The nice thing about this is it even comes with, <coughs> excuse me, the adhesives. So really the only thing that you need to add is your scissors. Um, and most people have a scissors, right? So super simple. The kits are also great for crafting on the go. If you are like going camping, going on vacation, and you just want to bring something along, um, to craft and you don't want to take all your supplies, just grab a kit because everything is in there. You don't have to go through and find everything you're going to need and then forget something. Okay. So the first step is going to be to put this part on here and it looks like they gave us tear and tape in this kit and it shows you in the picture exactly where to put it. So now I just need to find the end. There we go. Now tear and tape, you can use a scissors, but it's in the name. It tears really easily. So I'm just putting my three strips on here. Now, if you are an avid crafter and you have other adhesives in your craft room and you want to substitute something else, you can sure do that. I do that sometimes. I will just get out my regular adhesives and just use those. But I appreciate that everything comes in the kit because like I said, if I'm grabbing it on the go, then I don't need to have a bunch of other supplies with me. All right, so I want to kind of space this. So I've got the same on each side and the top and the bottom. That looks about right. All right, and then this piece gets put on with dimensionals. So we'll add those to the back. I think this is a great way to try out Stampin' Up! products too. If you're inviting a new friend to craft with you, um, I mean, if you have been using Stampin' Up! products for a long time, you know how great they are. Um, but your friend maybe doesn't, so you can invite them to do a kit with you and they can try out some of these things like our dimensionals, um, and they can see how pretty our images are and how pretty our colors are. Um, and then you can show them more, right? Okay, so now we have our sentiment and it looks like we're going to cut some of our twine. It says 14 inches. Now here is a cool thing about this. There is a ruler right along the side here. So you can measure and it tells you how much you use. Um, and I find that oftentimes with our kits, they tell you more than you need. So sometimes I will just eyeball it and I will not even follow their measurements because then I wind up with extra that I can use at the end. All right. And the only tricky part is finding the end sometimes. I think there it is. Okay. So we've got nine here and five more makes 14. And we're just going to tie a big loopy bow. Now, I don't know if they actually want you to tie it in the directions or just form it into a bow, but I find that it's easier to tie the bow. 
And now here I may get out one of my mini glue dots to do this if I had my extra adhesive around, but you don't have to. And I think I am, I'm going to stick an extra one in the middle. Now they show just two on there and that's fine. I want some support in the middle though. Um, and I want it to go underneath this side. So I think I'm going to have to turn it over to see. I want it like that. So you're just going to stick that to your dimensional. And this goes kind of across this white space in here. And it looks like your sentiment's going to line up with the edge of that lemon lime twist piece. Like that. And then I think I'm going to trim the edges of mine just a little bit. It was a little longer than I want. It's kind of going all over the place. Okay, so there is that. And then it shows us two big sequins and two little ones. Now, let's see if I have my take your pick tool in here. Yep. Um, you can just pull these off with your fingers too, but I'm going to use my take your pick tool since I have it here. And you can look at the picture and put them exactly where it is shows you or you can use some of your creative license to put them wherever you want. And these are a lot like, um, we have sequins like this that come also with berry burst and white. Look how pretty that is and how simple it was. So I love this one. That was the first card. All right, now let's go back here and find what we need for card number two. We're going to get the pink card base. And let's see here. One of these pieces. Um, there's different sentiments in here too than some of our stamp sets. Like this is a larger one. I like this. I feel so blessed to have a wonderful, kind, and amazing friend like you. So nice. Okay. That's all we need for this one plus our twine and our sequins. So now I will flip to that page of the directions. And we're going to fold our card base. We're going to put our tear and tape on here again. One in on the top, one in the middle, and one on the bottom. Super easy and really quick. Okay, so this one we're going to center on here. And then I'm going to look at my instructions to see where to place my dimensionals. Kind of one in each corner. And then the, the other one's going to be where we put our twine. And it says 16 inches. So it does need to be a little bit longer this time. I don't think I'm going to measure. I'm just going to tie a big loopy bow and see how it goes. I think something like that. So you can measure if you want to, but you don't necessarily need to. And I got to make sure I get this on the right part here. Okay, so I'm going to want it to stick like that. So I probably want it over here. And again, you could always use a mini glue dot if you want to. The one thing with this twine is it's been wrapped around that spool and it wants to wind itself back up. So we're going to kind of have to hold it in place. Stick this down over the top. Make sure we're centered here. There we go. And then this one, we get to use five sequins, two large and three small. And again, use your own creative license or just put them where they are pictured. And how quick was this card, right? So quick. Now, of course, the kit includes supplies to make three of each. So you can make them all at once and have a nice stack of cards on hand or do them as you need them, which is often what I do. 
Although I think they go together pretty quick if you mass produce. So there's a second one. Also really, really pretty. I really like this kit. Okay, on to the third one. So for this one, we need this card base. And then this is a birthday card. So let's find those circles in here. These kits do come with the sentiments printed in other languages because Stampin' Up! is a global company. Um, so that way they don't have to make different kits for the different countries. It's one kit and then you can use the language that is applicable to you. Okay, so this one is super simple, but look how pretty the card base is. So same idea um, as we did on the other cards. We're going to put the dimensionals on. Stick that twine down. Now this one says we need 14 inches again. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then we will add this to our card. All right, I did take the sticky off there. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of put that where I want it. Maybe I'll make my loops just a little bit bigger. Like that. There we go. And then five sequins again on this one. I love Pretty Peacock. It is one of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors, and that's the color of these sequins. So what do you think? Do you like our kits or not? I'd love to know your thoughts. And do you have a preference over the stamping versus the non-stamping or the projects versus the cards? I definitely like the cards the best. There's that third one. So again, this kit makes nine cards, three of each of these, and they are so, so beautiful. So if you like this kit, it is on sale this month along with all of our other kits. And some of them do have stamps and you do a little bit of stamping. Um, those usually cost a little bit more than these non-stamping ones because they include the clear block and the stamp set and the ink pad. Um, and of course, if you have, are a more avid crafter, you can take some of these supplies and create alternate samples too. And that is a lot of fun. Now, like I said, I don't have a card kit for you this week, but I do have a fun ordering special. So this is our fall fun special this week. You can shop now through the 30th, so you get a full seven days to shop. And I am going to pull out some of my favorite things from my stash that are retired to share with you. So this kind of builds on itself. If you spend more than $50 this week, I'm going to send you 24 sheets of six by six designer series paper. Um, you guys know that I have been cleaning out my craft room. I did a BOGO sale, but I have a whole lot of paper that I didn't even get put in that sale. Lots of it's specialty paper, um, Christmassy patterns, all sorts of things. So you get 24 sheets. If you spend more than $75, you will still get the 24 sheets of DSB but you'll also get an embellishment, which will be brand new, um, and ribbon. I have so much ribbon left over, so it might not be a full spool, it might be a couple together, um, but you'll get some ribbon from my stash, plus the embellishment and the designer series paper. And if you spend more than $100, you'll get the designer series paper, the embellishment, the ribbon, and a stamp set also. I have lots of retired stamp sets, that I am no longer using. I even have some brand new ones and I'm going to start with those and add them to your little gift package. Um, so you'll need to use the shopping link. It is in the description of the video. And shop with me now through the 30th and then um, I will send your fun little package to you. So that is an appreciation of you shopping with me. You can find some of our kits on sale or anything else that you want. Um, and I hope you have fun with this because I'm going to have fun picking out the things to send to you. Thank you for watching this week. Like I said, I'm not sure there will be a video next week, but stay tuned and I will let you know for sure. 
Um, otherwise, two weeks from now, I will be back live again. So I'm excited for that. And I hope your October is finishing up great. Bye.